There are days when you peer into the fridge and there's only one dish that makes sense. And for me, it's that kitchen sink approach, instant casserole, chili back. Kitchen sink meals to me are kind of my favorite because it forces you to get creative with what you have. Okay, it's kind of amazing. <laughs> It's kind of comforting and honestly, like it always comes together, Wh whatever it is. We're gonna make some chili mac. First step to a chili mac, olive oil in a pan, carrots, celery, green bell pepper and red onion. So I just saute the vegetables in some olive oil and get those good and tender while my elbow macaroni boils in a pot of water about five minutes because you don't want it to cook all the way through. You actually want it a little bit shy of al dente because it's gonna bake. So at this point, I'm gonna add some garlic. Once you smell it, once that, once that garlic fragrance just like punches you in the face, you're doing it right. I personally am a fan of grass-fed beef. Not only do I like the flavor of grass-fed, I feel like it, it has this, another layer of complexity in the flavors as opposed to just a regular ground beef. The chili mac earns its name with the tablespoon of da 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 chili powder. Double the amount of cumin and let it bloom and it gets this Awesome, earthy aroma, it's fabulous. And then lastly, the pantry staple of all pantry staples, a couple of cans of diced tomatoes. Adam. Got elbow macaroni, which is such a classic when it comes to chili mac. The reason that I like to transfer all of this mix to a casserole dish is A, the casserole ain't dead, man. And B, like I can't store this, this big old thing in a fridge, and you can a casserole, you can definitely put it in your fridge. And there's one thing left to do, the most important step for your life happiness, that's cheese, my friend. I'm gonna go with a classic, some shredded mozzarella right on top. The kids like to help sprinkle that on top if you like a mess in your life. Excellent, that's really good. We're gonna be here forever. Once the cheese is on, 30,000 years later, we're gonna put it in the oven. You're gonna throw this casserole in the oven, uncovered, for about 30 minutes. It lets everything sort of become one. The cheese gets brown and bubbly. Angels start to appear. I've got chili mac! Did you put that cheese on there? This weeknight meal, it's so good because it screams comfort. It's good any time of year so flavorful, yet it still has this sort of nostalgic feel from childhood. I just, I'm obsessed. It wins. Hey guys, for more recipes that use what you have on hand in the pantry, subscribe below.